woke up at 9.15 and I had time to spare. I made some coffee. I'm sure there's caffeine in there. What, Dee Dee? I need to brush and brush and brush and brush my hair. Twirl, sashay. Tell me how to sashay. Kenzie Hoge is going to her show company recital, rehearsal recital. Hello, good morning. It's Saturday from me, Dee Dee. And dear old dad, where is he? I think I can get him. He's getting the gas because he has a sweatshirt on. It's like 50 degrees and I didn't plan for a sweater being cold. Also, dad and me watched Scream 6 last night. I can't roll my, oh, I, I can roll my window down. Dad, what'd you think of Scream 6? Nice. <laughs> uh, we just dropped Judy off at dance. Um, this is my bad head. When I got out of bed this morning, the way that I, I was the last one out of bed, cause it's Saturday, that's my right. Um, but when I skipped out of the bedroom this morning, cause he said to Brian, I'm not sure Dee Dee is the grown up. I'm not sure I am either. Dad, we just had one question for you. What did you think of Scream 6? It was really good. It was actually my favorite one of all the movies that we okay, watched. Okay, and what did Judy say when I got out of bed? She's not sure I'm a- Oh, Dee Dee like, hurried and like did a hop skip and a jump and like ran out of the room with copper and Kenzie goes I don't think that Dee Dee is a grown up Slay. a baby brekkie for me and dad until we have oh. ah! <laughs> <laughs> overnight oats later this dog won't let me come upstairs mm. okay Kenzie's gonna talk while I live roll Kenzie where are you going to a friend's house oh Hello. there's one D right here I have some in the back and in the front can you help me Kenzie's going to a friend, leaving us again. I'm sure that everyone is getting bored of the no family dynamic videos because Kenzie keeps leaving us for friends and plans. So it's just dad and me reading books and sitting around waiting for her. But anything that you want to say about all that, bro? It's amazing. I'm kidding. Hey. I love you guys. We love you too. Thank you. But we're going to have family night tonight with Peter Pan and Nancy. Dad, have you seen my cute chopstick? Mm, yes. TV sat down at the computer and thought to himself, how can we make tonight fun? So he Googled Peter Pan themed dinner. Mm. What is it, St. Patrick's Day? Dad, do you have any Peter Pan themed dinner ideas, honey? Um, Peter Pan themed dinner ideas. Everything's just pixie dust or like pirate chips. Or I suppose we could make some kind of dessert. I have edible glitter, does that help? Oh yeah, let's do that. It looks like I just literally Googled same Patrick's Day. Good morning, babies. Kenzie May is gonna teach you how to make a pot roast. Okay, you need a chuck roast, you need an onion, and you need two jars of diced green chilies. Mm, and salt and pepper and garlic. Okay, so cut your onion up into big chunks. In your Disney crock pot, put your roast in, and then put your onions all around. Salt and pepper. Generously salt it. Normally I use like real garlic, but I ran out. So this is garlic powder. And last, and the best part, will you grab the other can, honey? Mm -hmm. Is green chilies. And just put those like that right on top. Pour it right in the middle and then just push it around with the can. Just like that? Just like that. Perfect. And then turn it on high for, we'll let you know in a minute how many hours. Good morning, y'all. It's Sunday. So yesterday we were supposed to like watch Peter Pan and Wendy and do our whole thing. We went to pick up Kenzie from our like Saturday play date and her friend's parents wanted us to stay. So we ended up having like pizza there and talking. We didn't get home until nine o'clock. So there was no Peter Pan and Wendy. There was no making like a dessert together, anything like that. But today is sunny and beautiful. So I think we're gonna do what we wanted to do yesterday, today. And we're going on a Disney cruise in like 40 something days. So that's Rufus. Dad has made inside out Bing Bong's blueberry muffin recipe. I took one bubble bath and she got sunburned. Also, I mean, made muffins. Look at my legs. 
ouchies, and then you probably just saw it. Dad and Judy made this. And Peter, can you see the glitter in the air? Dad used um, edible glitter. Look, oh my gosh, you can. Look. Can you see that? Yeah, watch. Do you see that? Uh-huh. Dad, you're so glittery. This is what I'm in the mood for so when I eat my breakfast I want to watch. Okay, are we at like the continental breakfast for like princesses? Because this looks beautiful. I need to take a picture of this. We're outside. I think dad's picking weeds. Could be wrong, but it feels amazing. It's like 75 degrees out this morning. Kenzie is using my tool of that I, I have weaponized chapstick against copper as to bring him inside. <laughs> And Kenzie is now using that not to bring get him inside, it, copper. but to get him to jump high off the ground. Copper! <gasps> Come get it! Hello, sweeties. Today is Sunday. Today is called the redo of yesterday. We're going to try to do everything we wanted to do yesterday. So, cruise shopping. Even though Kenzie doesn't know we're going on a cruise. We're going to watch Peter Pan and Wendy. I think Dad's going to make a chicken pot pie if I let him. Depends on how we feel. We're gonna go to lunch, go to Dillard's, just go over and a bunch of errands. Love ya. Gotta bring my cute buddy on this. Here it comes. Birthdays. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Um. Who am I? Kenzie Hulk. Who am I? No. Pat Hey, You're... Dad, so. Um, She's me! Okay. She's me! <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Show an outfit check. This is Dee Dee's, this is Kenzie's, this is Daddy's. That's all. I told bro I'm proud of her for wearing this shirt because she's had it in her closet forever. She really wanted it and then she never wore it and 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 now she wore it. Picking up dad a tea. Thank you. We got dad his tea, Dee's getting his coffee and dad, where are we going to head to first? We're going to go to Dillard's and do some shopping. For summer. What is she doing? Girl, get out of the car, woman! Drinking more tea? This is the Dillard's Cleary outlet. We're gonna go cruise shopping. Kenzie thinks it's summer clothes shopping because she doesn't know where we's going. Ha ha. Let's play Where's Dad Waldo. Oh look, there he is. The only one who found some things is Kenzie May Holgate, and so we're gonna go get those. Oh my gosh, Dad's scolding me because Kenzie just said that she is kind of in a face right now and a mood, a vibe where she doesn't like smiling with her teeth. She got that from me. What, Dad? So that's one way to put it. One way to put your beautiful little mouth is to shut it, boy. She said I sound like a little kid because I'm like, I want to watch Peter Pan tonight and I want to put on my pajamas. Mm -hmm. Also, do you call it schlotskis or schloshkis? No, she said sloshkis. Say it. Slotchkis. Oh, slotchkis. Okay, we're going to slotch keys for lunch. Slotskis. Okay, we'll show you. Welcome to Dad's car picnic. Everyone give him a round of applause. What the and heck? me and Dad have got these original sandwiches. These. What, sweetie? It, like, the, you know whenever you put your Coke in really fast Stop. and it like blows up? It just did that in the straw and it like, it went like over that. the edge. I'm gonna steal that. It blows so up. Much. We're at Marshall's now. And look at how cute these are, Dad. Did you see? They're so summery. These are so cute. Cross your fingers, Judy notices them and wants to look at them. Here's an update on Dad's roast. Ooh. Oh my God. In the spectacular wilderness, the success of every family depends on their So sweet. Dad, come on, get in on this. <laughs> Do you want to go to the place where the cement is, the grasses, you wanna go? He's my ow, copper! Will you turn off Abby Lee? Or I guess I'll do it. Name one thing Abby Lee taught you. Go ahead. Do as you're told, shut up, don't argue. Wise words from dad. Okay, let's go here. Hello world, hear the song Brian singing. Da -da, done. Doesn't this look like a scene out of a 90s movie? Just dad and Judy holding paws walking. Uh, documenting this cute little memory. My dad just called me. They're such cute, adorable boomers. And my dad was like, uh, Steven, son, can you help me book your mom and me reservations with our Disneyland passes? Isn't that so cute? So uh, Dee's gonna come through for them with that. So seven hours later, here's our roast. And it is able to just be pulled apart really easy. Now we eat it like pot roast, like with gravy and potatoes and all that. 
when I'm going to make the gravy right now. But growing up, my mom would just leave all the green chilies and the onions in there and shred it all up. And we would eat it in like burritos or tacos. It was so, so good. But Dee Dee loves his with gravy and mashed potatoes, like, you know, home cooked meal. So what I have to do is take all those onions and green chilies and I take my immersion blender, which is one of my favorite things that I own. And mine is just, um, I'll show you. Mine looks like this. It's KitchenAid. It was like 25 bucks, like really good price. And it's super sturdy and strong. And um, yeah, love it. And then just blend it up. It's seriously, oops. It's like such a good tool. I love it. Or you could use a blender. If you don't have one, you can just use your blender. Just make sure you leave room and leave a little bit of like the lid cracked because all that steam will build up pressure in your blender. And you'll have um, gravy all over your kitchen. Boom, just like that. And then just like always, thicken my gravy with flour and a little bit of water or beef broth. And I did add some beef broth to this so that it's a little bit, so there's a little bit more. And then just salt and pepper it to taste. Hi, copper! And just thicken it to your liking. It's super easy. Isn't that pretty? Mmm, so good. And I don't know how Brian can cook better than this, but he made all this food for us. He's Dallas. It's a beautiful Sunday night, and we're about to watch Dios with Dad. Hello, coming to you once again on a Monday, feeling Monday-ish. Actually, I'm feeling freaking fabulous, and I really want Dad to join me for this Monday check-in. Now, something that you need to be aware of today, I need all hands on deck. Brian Carl Holgate is going to finally get flowers little garden. Normally dad gets his little garden outside den by now, but uh, he has not yet because we've had really bad weather, so we don't want the little um, daisies or whatever they're called to get trampled. And um, dad had a really wonderful day of work today. Um, let's just say that they showed him how much they appreciate him. And as his reward, I said, girl, treat yourself to flowers because he can buy them. <laughs> Another Dee Dee moment that was not caught on camera, but that happened that was very stupid of me, is when I got home today, I had my four shots of espresso that I always pick up on my way home. I knocked it on the floor. All over my sandals, all over the floor, everything. So, I was wrong. Dad is not coming to be a part of this video, but I will get something of him, because I know we're all dying to see Dad. So I'm gonna grab our little bro. Hang on, kitty cat. A little dad what snack should i grab for bro so that she has something when we go pick at your flowers and do you know which one of these sparkly things she likes the best mango how about mango mango is definitely her favorite and as promised brian holgate i am back with dad today is one of kenzie's best friend's birthdays so we're doing our sweet little dad thing and going to get them a drink at starbucks dad is like he can barely contain his smile right now because he's like my book my book go ahead say it what is it oh my gosh my book it's so good he just read a bunch and he loves it this is the fastest he's read any of the books in the last couple months it's a glorious day and then after this we're going to go to get flowers from get low get from low get, get low get low get low look where we're going my little boy finally gets his little flowers and had to run back to the car by my lonesome because of course i forgot my wallet welcome to dad's planetarium dad is gonna pick out some great flowers some great leaves and build a beautiful garden I, walk out the door. I know you love those isn't this boy so adorable how he loves his garden his nature life okay so you're probably wondering how it's going and it's going like this kenzie is trying to talk daddy into getting a peach tree but if we got this would the peaches even come in town for us to make beach bad james and the jam beach mm -hmm. yeah i like we're gonna go to yeah, walmart dad's color, got this polka dot like number hot pink like <laughs> next to these oh i yeah. really like that what are those called mm -hmm. This They're really soft, and if you put in um, XDDY, Still you get five percent off with my coupon code. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't know how people say that. I'm just pretending. I'm on my cruise diet, but I'm like craving a piece of candy. What if this has less? 
calories. I don't want to do jelly beans. Who's somebody that like does like gardening stuff? Brian Holgate. Uh, Martha Stewart. Mar well, Martha Stewart, welcome to Dad's Martha Stewart, living by Brian Holgate. He's gonna plant stuff. He only got four things so far. He needs to get some more. Here's the water. Dad got that. I don't know where it goes. And are those all going in there? I have no idea. So you may think that's that's a little wimpy start, but no, Dad will have this whole place sparkling and colorful within like a couple of weeks. Isn't it the perfect day, May 1st, for Dad to start his um, garden blooming thing, planting? Just dropped Judy off a dance, and I'm with a great, big, beautiful Brian Holgate. He is such a cute little man. We're gonna go get the things Dad needs to make chicken cacciatore for dinner. Have you ever made cooking with Dad chicken cacciatore? <gasps> Idea loading. Y'all, when did it become so hard to find your husband a little piece of black licorice? We've looked at like four stores. My honey bear doesn't like Twizzlers brand but nobody has any for him. So if y'all could be a deer and point me in the direction. Why not red vines, honey? There's, I love red vines. I want to bite off the ends and put it in the soda pot. I like red vines. I don't like their black. Look what dad treated himself to. I, I just came out and he is saying, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. bum, 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 bum. Welcome to cooking with dad when he's in a rush. And when he's in a rush, there you go, dear. I am the one to make the videos and help him. Da -dun 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 -dun. Okay, so what you guys want to do is grab some chicken breasts, cut them up into uh, rhombuses, and get four green peppers with two yellow onions. Salt your chicken. Honey, am I okay so far? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, salt your chicken, turn it upside down, salt it again. Midgev. So you want to salt the side that looks like roadkill. Slap a pinch of pepper, flavor to taste. Is that okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> is that what you just said? Yes. Yeah. Okay, then what you guys want to do is flip it back over. Make sure that you wash your little dirty paws before you do these types of things. Okay. Now I have a question. Even mm -hmm. though I'm trying to, I'm supposed to be confident. Uh -huh. When you flip it, doesn't all of it just wipe off into the cutting board? Some of it will come off, but it's not really. Okay, so put a little extra to make up for that lack of one that fell off. And a medium pen. Uh, okay, so bring it to medium. medium high heat in one, let's say, this big. like That's like a 14 inch. Okay, 14 inch. Then tell your husband to grab some, what are you getting? Butter out of the fridge. Um, Oh wait, did you already do this? I need to make sure that they know. I did. Okay, so what you guys wanna do is with as much pepper and salt as you put on the chicken, you wanna put some granulated California garlic <laughs> from Costco. Half a stick of butter. Now what the butter is gonna do is it's gonna latch on. Come on, dad, you have to help me out a little. No, no, no. Little pallets, preferably like the size they give you for bread. <laughs> and then move it around a little bit like that. Ooh. Okay. And then always remember to throw your trash away so none of the ingredients get on it. Now the reason you put the butter in there is because... Get it nice and hot. Very, oh, there's very, very the hot. comforting calm voice you all love. Okay, and use your tongs because at this point we don't want chicken stuff well, on our... Touch the hot pan. Yeah, you don't want to touch the pan. Now, are we gonna cook this chicken all the way through right now? Not necessarily. Uh, usually, <laughs> yes or no. Uh, okay, the, in my cookbook, it would say not necessarily, because in my world, all the chicken it would sit and talk to me for hours. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna, you're just gonna cook on one side and brown, and then you you carefully garlic the other side. Oh God, no! I don't no, think that's a good idea. Very I know. I don't think this is a good idea. Do more of a sideways shake rather than a front. How does that look? Ooh, it smells good. I'm it doing good. Says, Here, like this, sideways, and it even. So more I don't want to do that. Um, the reason why I'm here for this is let me lean on the counter. Is because Dad can't do all the production stuff that he does with yeah, his like. Yeah, we're in a brush. He can't do those things he does when he does um, 
the tripod and it's all like perfect and not wobbly. Today you're getting wobbly dee dee. Cause Ken's is a damn since he's got volleyball and stuff, okay? What do you think so far? Are we doing good? Let's go into dad's kitchen. So dad has put me in charge of opening the Campbell's tomato soup. And on this one, I actually do have an opinion. You do not want to get store brand tomato soup. And if you're wearing white shorts, don't do this. You want Campbell's. We've tried the um, Penny Pincher brand and it's not good. This tomato soup stain. Oh yeah. There's our chicken brown. Okay, I'm coming. And if we've already made a cooking with Dad a chicken cacciatore, just fast forward like four minutes. Cause I don't remember I don't remember to be honest. I think I feel like we did, but I don't I don't I don't know. See this is what I want with my cooking with dad videos. A nice view of dad as he does these things. So as you can see, the chicken is nice and brown. And if you can't hear this, turn up your TV. I don't I can't help you. So I have a minute on the cooking for a moment. Is it recording? Yeah. So I can see the onions part of it. As if this is gonna be easy to follow. This is like a no, it's gonna be easy to follow. Two onions. Cut them in half. So they make little rainbow shapes. And then one more time. So that you have little slices. I'm doubling the recipe so we can have it for dinner tomorrow. So we're doing four bell peppers. We busy on Tuesdays and Mondays. Oh dear. You didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> when, I, when I said chicken cacciatore, I thought it was healthy. It's like the Wizard of Oz when you come in the kitchen, you realize what goes into stuff. I don't appreciate like, that, wait, Brian. What? Behind the curtain, butter. So then what you do, if you're the assistant sous chef, is you take one of these. Wait, did you cut the chicken with this thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Never, ever, ever, don't ever mix, mm -hmm. don't ever mix meat with your fresh produce. Oh, I love when you say that. Take those onions and peppers and put them in your butter um, reduction. Mix them around, poke them, give it a little salt, however you want. However you want. You know what you say. Uh, give it some pepper, it'll get that nice fajita smell. Then flush them around in the butter and wait for him to put the chicken on top. No, mm -hmm. let, let them... You have to saute them okay. until they're tender. And I do that faster by covering them. Thanks. And it steams them while it's all buttery mm -hmm. sauteing. It's like a shower. Okay, so about three or four minutes later, my vegetables are now softer. And it is time to pour in Campbell's Condensed Tomato Soup. You wanna get three cans. You don't need to measure it, what's inside. You just put it straight from farm to market. Uh -huh. And then I know that that goop looks unsavory. So what you need is a little um, heavy whip. I'm just kidding. What you need is some chicken um, broth. You want to fill it into the uh, can. I know what you're thinking, but the can you're is thinking. dirty. There's extra left inside. How do I get that out? Oh, that's smart. Did you create that? <laughs> Have you not seen this over the last 10 years? I don't think so. <laughs> so chicken gravy, I mean chicken, uh, chicken, chicken broth or stock. Stock? Either one. Oh, stock it's Stock is better. Rufus, two canfuls of back and forth mixture. Mm. Teeter totter it. Actually, we're gonna see how much it is. All right, slap, one. Rufus, slap. And then when it simmers, a good thing that you guys can do is feed your pets in the meantime. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, I'm back. He's adding a little bit more and don't worry, we're just doing one Dee Dee Talks Through Dad recipe video because all of you love Dad's soothing, calm, <laughs> cooking voice. Oh it will be back soon. I'm just helping him because we're rushed and he sleeps in, okay? Uh, one per cup can. per can there you go. of chicken stuff. And while Dad stirs that up, let's look at some things. Da -da -da. Five year old drawing. Last year, fourth grade. Ultrasound. That's Kenzie's head. 
monster directly. I haven't updated these things in a long time. This is from like 2017. Thanks for being the best two dads ever. And you are, you guys give me all of the things I want, but that doesn't matter. The next step is happening. So your little browned pieces of chicken, put them back in, space them apart. Um, so that they look like little fish come into water. We come into the top of the water. Sick. Or like yeah. little chickens drowning in the Aww, water. It's whole five fish. All right. And that. And then. Do you make a nice bone broth out of this? Yeah. Turn it down. Turn it down. And put that, put your lid on top of it. To simmer. To simmer and for. And stir it stir every it. few minutes because that tomato every sauce minutes, will stick. The tomato to the sauce will stick to the bottom and then dad will say, Row! Then take your rice. Wait, people know how to make rice, right? I don't need to say that. So you can serve Do it over- Do you know how to make rice? No. Um, so serve it over rice or mashed potatoes. Um, my mom would do mashed potatoes when I was a little youngin, but my dad does rice and that is what I prefer. It's heavenly. No offense, Susie was what the man said. Am I doing a good job? I'm doing my best to emulate dad. Dad, how am I doing at helping with like talking your recipes out? So good. Thank you, the boy with the cute waist. We're sitting outside of dance. Oh, cooking with dad is paused. Sorry, I'm gonna flash to this. Oh, here she comes. And we're outfit planning for the cruise. Kenzie doesn't know we're going on a cruise. Ha <laughs> ha. Hi, bro. How was dance? Hi, Cassie, man. You look so pretty. And we're back. That is flashing the number seven for some reason. Seven minutes left. Oh, and this is where we're at with the soothing, or what's it called when it sits? So you just let it sit and simmer, and then eventually, your chicken will be able to just like Shut fall apart. apart. So good. That's it. And the, Kenzie just sprayed me with a thousand wishes. This does not smell like pure wonder. Um, and this. Oh, wow, I'm so tired. Oh, don't spray a bunch of Bath and Body Works before we eat. Ugh. I know, we right? We're dinner. having a thousand wishes cachetory. So this is dinner. This is the fries. Then dad just portions. Hope you liked it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> LGBTQ stands for? L is for the way lesbian. Uh, what's the next one? L, B, G. L, G. G, G obviously, from a gay sisters. Um, B, B. Bi. Oh, bi. That means you like both. Um, T, do you know what T stands for? Not spill the. T is for transgenders. And then Q for QAnon. Wait, no, what is it really for again? Queer. Queer. No, I thought it was for questioning. Questioning? I don't know, Google it. What does LGBTQIAPK stand for? PK is uh, Dorit's husband, so you can mark that one off. Some parents will send their children to camp. Like, not, they're not even camps. They're That's mm -hmm. So do you think that someone could teach me to not be gay, or am I a lost cause? Fuck, it's wet. You where where dad grew up, we're gonna go see his house. This is the road up to dad's old house. I mean, like, you can't make this stuff up. And there I crashed my first car. Dad is being so, like, nostalgic right now. Dinner. Tears will flow. Okay, this is dad's neighborhood. Oh my gosh! Did you guys have a stable? Soaking in all the memories. This is the house that made the dad the dad. It's he would minion. bring home his dates with girls here. Oh. Dad, did you ever kiss a girl on that porch? Um, I did. Oh, gross. Dad kissed a girl here. Isn't that weird to think about? It used to be all white, and then the bricks were like salt and pepper. I wanna get some footage, but we need to be quick because they probably have one of those signs up that says we don't call 911, we call the Second Amendment or whatever. Are you really gonna go up there? Dad's house, Dad's house. So beautiful to me. <laughs> <laughs> it was gonna take us to Girls Fun Day at the mall. We could play Mean Girls and stuff like that, get pretzels. Dad remembered our school meaning for diversity gay people. There goes our storyline. 
Oh, oh this Kenzie version. just said she forgot about this DD, which means she forgot about the version of me when I'm not and wisdom Dad is giving his review of the parents' meeting. So Dad just said we're the ultimate minority. We are the only two people, adults in the school, who speak gay. Thank you. Is there any lesbos? Are there any gay parents at your school? We've always just been the only If one. anyone tries to come for my title, what does Kyle Richards say in her housewife tagline? This is my town. Also, Dad Garcelle said that tonight's episode you don't want to miss, so we got to get her in bed on oh time. Oh, hi. Another video. Um... It's that, um, sorry, I'm, I'm like a child. I'm getting reacquainted with the English language because I haven't talked in like for four days.